To a developing story, your tax dollars being used for a confidential payout by a local school district involving claims of molestation. And tonight we got our hands on the settlement between the San Diego Unified School District and a parent. 10 News reporter Emily Valdez is live at the school district headquarters. And Emily, the parent didn't sue over the molestation, but rather how the principal handled it. That is exactly right, Krim. Yeah, the lawsuit alleges that the principal for Green Elementary and the school district did not contact CPS after the molestation, and they also failed to keep the attacker and the victim separated. Yeah, it's absolutely shocking. I hadn't heard anything that severe, so yeah. The San Diego Unified School District is paying up on a lawsuit with the Green Elementary School parent. They reached a secret settlement out of court. The settlement is very disturbing. It alleges a kindergartner was sexually assaulted by a classmate in the school bathroom, but that is not why the parent sued. No, she sued over the way the principal and the district handled the case. The suit claims the principal did not report the assault to CPS or take any action to keep the children separated until a year later. By then, the aggressor had already attacked the victim again. The school district needs to put in child protection measures to make these kids safe. Some parents are defending the principal, Dr. Bruce Ferguson. He's on paid leave for the second time in two years. A school district spokeswoman said in an email to 10 News, the principal is on personal paid leave, yes, and we can't comment on the specifics beyond that as it's a personnel matter. And if that happened, obviously that's not ideal, but I only have good things to say about Dr. Ferguson. Dr. Ferguson is also named in another similar lawsuit alleging a little girl was molested in the bathroom by a student. And when the parent told the principal, he did not report it to police. And the school district would not comment on the settlement. So Preston and Kim, we do not know how much it was for. I'm live at district headquarters, Emily Valdez, 10 News.